How's it going guys? Jimmy Wu, Infinity Air CEO. I'm here in our Los Angeles corporate headquarters. It's great to be here in this facility. I've shown a lot of videos and footages throughout these few months uh, in different facilities, especially in our Seattle, our repair station. Now I'm here in our Los Angeles facility, our headquarters, actually where we started way back in 1997. I wanted to talk a little bit about a different product line. My last video was on the 787 airplane, brand new airplane, completely redesigned, not a upgrade of another type of airplane or platform, rather brand new go airplane. This is another piece of equipment that went on a brand new airplane, and it's for the 8380 airplane. Now, back in the days in, uh, in the 70s, I remember there was only Boeing airplane and Airbus wasn't really a threat. Coming forward today to 2020, an airplane is absolutely a 50-50 with Airbus in the commercial, uh, with Boeing in commercial uh, aerospace. And this is a huge launch. And I think, uh, just my personal opinion, that really what made that happen was the, the A380. At least the CEO of uh, Airbus at that time, uh, he took a huge gamble and invested billions of dollars in research and development to put the A380 in the, in the, uh, in the skies, right? But because at that time, Boeing was in control of all of the jumbo jets. And the only jumbo jet that was flying commercially was the 747. Now we have 747-400s and 747-800s, but then A380 came into the playing field. And when A380 was being conceived, uh, a lot of people said, you know, this, this is crazy. It's an airplane that's going to be too big. There's never going to be enough uh, passengers to fill that airplane. Not enough air, uh, uh, airports to even support this aircraft. Not enough gates. The airport landing field wasn't heavy enough. I remember even taking one of the first few flights on Qantas Airways from Singapore to Sydney on the launching of the A380 and it was a fantastic experience. It really rocked the, the airplane, commercial aircraft world on the airplane. One of the biggest airplane uh, people consider a super jumbo. A jumbo will be a 747. This is a super jumbo airplane. As you could imagine, uh, all of the air people that, that could fly on that airplane, all of the air circulation that's needed. And that's why I wanna talk about this particular unit this is an A380 heat exchanger, and it is part of the environmental system. It's part of the air pack system, what we call, that is for the air circulation, cooling, and heating of the airplane, pressurization of the airplane. We talked about the 787, and the 787 has no bleed air system. Well, the A380 certainly does. The A380 has four engines, and traditionally, the air pack system would sit in the belly of the airplane. Not so with the A380. I'll show you guys an illustration on that. The A380's air pack system is in the wing of the airplane, from the wing to body, all the way to the extension of the wing. And the inlet is on the wing, and the outlets of the system is also on the wing of the airplane. Really amazing stuff. The wing is so big that they put the air pack system inside of the wing rather than the belly, so the belly could be more flat and it could be more aerodynamic versus other jumbo jets or any other airplanes for that specific matter. This is the illustration of the A380 environmental system being installed at the manufacturer in the wing of the aircraft rather than the fuselage or the belly of the aircraft which is different from most of other commercial aircraft. Here you will see that the ram air outlets are physically located on the wing of the A380 as well as the inlet. So what does a heat exchanger do? Very simply, the heat exchanger takes hot air, right? Takes hot air from the bleed air valve system, basically driven by the engine, mixes with cold air, that it takes from ram air that comes from outside of the airplane, or when the airplane is on the ground, same thing that I've shown in the 787, when the airplane is on the ground, it has a motorized ram air system, or ACM, that's pushing air uh, by a motorized system. When the airplane is flying and it's moving, it's the ram air that's directly ram air. So the cold air comes in, hot air comes in, the heat exchanger mixes the cold and hot air to exactly the right temperature, and then, 
gives that to the cabin. Uh, that's the main purpose of a heat exchanger. This heat exchanger is, is gigantic. It's absolutely one of the biggest heat exchangers I've ever seen uh, personally. Here's an illustration of the complete A380 air pack system with the heat exchanger, air cycle machine, and other accessories attached. This is the heat exchanger that's manufactured by Hamilton Sunstrand, now Collins Aerospace. This piece of equipment is actually manufactured in Russia, a joint venture with Hamilton and the, and the Russian uh, heat exchanger company that's been in business a long time. They make this in Russia now. It's important for every single commercial airplane, not only to give the air to the commercial airplane, but also give cabin compression to the, to the core of this unit. Looks like a radiator. Arson come here so the guys can see what goes wrong with it. And a lot of you guys that are out there that does recoring, you know exactly what we're talking about. The core of this unit goes back. Um, the radiating system are basically paper thin and anything that hits it from uh, foreign objects uh, to corrosion will ruin this. You can see the welding on this. Guys, I mean, this is one of the best welded parts in the industry. Uh, all hand done. It's completely done by humans. It's not done by robotics. And the welding on this is absolutely precise. And it's a beautiful job that's made. An engineering marvel invented by Hamilton Sunstrand when it was Hamilton Sunstrand back in the old days, um, the heat exchanger for the commercial aircraft. So a little bit of history for you. All right, guys. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll put more of these out for you guys. Take care. Bye.